Welcome back to Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog, and today I'm with the Blix Vika Plus. Now I showed you some of the other uh, Blix bikes, uh, and they're going to be at my seminar tomorrow night, so you get a chance to try them out. Now this uh, Vika Plus, this is actually last year's model. The models that are just coming out will have fenders and a rack, and that rack will have a built-in lighting that runs off the uh, battery system. So this is a 20-inch folding bike, 350 watts, and believe me, it's a peppy little bike. That V brakes, uh, 10 amp hour, 36 volt battery. Got a classy uh, uh, saddle on this baby, and it's been pretty comfortable in all the riding I've done. Matching ergo grips, seven speed thumb shifter, uh, uh, up and down. You got the right there. And this has what they call active drive. And there's the display unit on it. Oh, it's more like a control unit. And the active drive gives you three levels of assist. And if you put it in active drive, it'll automatically choose your levels for you uh, with a, a cadence sender. Now, most e-bikes with a pedelec, they have a sensor down here on the pedals, uh, and it uh, senses that the pedals are turning. But with their active drive, it also senses how fast your pedals are turning and will allow it to automatically select uh, the, uh, the speed level that you want. Now, it does have built-in front lighting. I was riding around at night, and it's pretty good light. If you're really going fast or, uh, or whatever, you might want something auxiliary, but uh, that light puts out a fair amount of power. Comes in this cool looking green. Folds up pretty simply and you know unlike uh, you know a, a folding specific bike it's not doesn't fold quite as small in the end uh, and as light. But uh, you know it's kind of typical of the uh, uh, folding electric assist bikes. There's your Shimano setup out back. Got foldable pedals. Now I was uh, talking to the rep for a while and uh, uh, he was definitely taking notes on some of the uh, things I was telling him about. Uh, and one is I'd like to see an off setting for the assist. So you have off, low, medium, and high. I think it's really important. This low is a little jumpy. I miss mean, a powerful little bike. 350 watts is generally all the power you need. Now it also has a left hand thumb throttle. And, uh, you know, this really uh, pushes forward to. Uh, let me do it here. Which is actually pretty convenient, but most of them you find they actually push down. But I find that uh, working just fine on there, so uh, that's pretty nice. Now another thing I noticed too is, uh, uh, unlike their website, uh, I put it on my little cheapo scale and I was getting uh, uh, 40 pounds for the bike and 7 for the battery, so this weighs out at 47 pounds, uh, more or less, on my, uh, my real inexpensive scale. So uh, something to keep in mind, that's not really what the website was saying, but that's, got, that's a pretty lightweight for an uh, e-bike anyway. So. Uh, Pretty nice. So you can see these at my seminar tonight. Uh, of course, you got to be pre-registered. They're cutting off registrations tonight at 8 o'clock. Uh, looks like a full house, and there's going to be more e-bikes than ever, and it'll be Blix's first visit to my seminar. So uh, hopefully you get a chance to come by. You can ride this baby and many others, and uh, check for a full review on this, and I hope to do some more Blix bikes also. All right, the Blix Vika Plus. Nice.